Is it Felix? Marvellous. Luke? Cool Nina. Or Ollie? Standing by. Felix, Ooh. Luke yeah. or Ollie? <gasps> Which one is a smell neuron? Let's find out. It's Ollie. Ollie is a smell neuron. If it's Pongy or Whiffy, but you can't tell, my messages help your sense of smell. Use our senses wherever we may go. I've brought some special guests to the lab today, but they are a bit shy and they're in here. Take a look. <gasps> there are scorpions in here. Now, they can be quite hard to see, but if you can see one, they do look a little bit scary. They've got big claws and also at the end of their tail, they have a poisonous sting. But I'm going to show you something quite unusual that you might not know about scorpions. And for this, I'll need the lights dimmed, please. Thank you. Now, usually it's more difficult to see in the dark, but when it comes to scorpions, if you make it dark, they can really stand out. And the only other thing I need is something called ultraviolet light, which is this thing here. Now, watch the scorpions. Wow, isn't that amazing? When ultraviolet light shines onto the scorpions, it makes them glow. <laughs> Now, can you see the hard shell on the scorpions? Yeah. Yeah? Well, in the shell is a chemical that reflects the ultraviolet light, and that's the glow that we see, the ultraviolet light being reflected. It makes them a lot easier to spot, doesn't it? Yeah. And even scientists who study them in the wild, they do it at night time, because you can see them a lot better. <laughs> Lights up, please. Oh, thank you very much, everyone. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye. I hear a beep. I see a flash. I wonder what they're going to ask. Hello, Nina. I wanted to ask you a question. Where do the stars go during the day? Oh, what a great question. Where do the stars go during the day? Bye, Nina. See you soon. See you. Stars go during the day, so we'll be trying to look for stars. So look is the neuron for the job. OK, then. Let's go. Emma, her brother Harry, and mum and dad. They're a regular family from the Yorkshire Dales. But today, for one day only, they are... The Experimenters! Hi there, Emma. How are you doing? Fine. Excellent. Thank you so much for your question. Where do the stars go during the day? I've always wondered the answer to that. Oh, so where's the rest of your family? Over there. Oh, brilliant. Shall we shout them over? Come over. Hello there. Hi. How are oh. you doing? Right. right, now we're all organised. I think we should start experimenting so we can find out the answer to your question. Now, today, we're going to do things a little bit differently and we're going to divide into two groups. So, first of all, I'm just going to have a quiet word with your mum and dad. Excuse me a second. No listening in. OK. For this first experiment, I need two volunteers to come with me to look at objects in the sky. But where can I find two young volunteers who'd like to help me? I just yeah, can't yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm only joking. I knew you guys would like to help me. But first of all, let's send off Dad for this secret mission. So off you go, Dad, and we'll see you later. Bye. 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 I'll give you a clipboard each. And Emma, which one would you like? Pink, please. Excellent choice. And Harry, that leaves you with the blue one, but I'm sure they'll be quite happy about that. Yep. Fantastic. Let's have a look now, and you can see there are pictures of objects, things you might see in the sky. And I'd like you to put a tick next to anything you see. Remembering to look particularly closely for any stars we might see out there. Do you think we'll see any stars today? Not today. 
I don't know, I don't know, but let's go and have a look. Are you ready, everyone? Yep, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Come. Ready, Luke? Oh, it's my big moment. Standing by, ready to send lots of messages. Look, some balloons. Yeah. An airplane. Oh, where? Who spotted that? Me. Oh, can I have a small high five? Whoopsh. And there's one. Oh, oh yes. there's all the birds. Hey, look. There's the sun. What's that on the clothesline? Mm, the pants. <laughs> I, I, think, I think your dad's underpants. Look. We're here at the park, so hopefully we'll get to see some more things to tick them off on our list. There's not many to go now. Where do you think we might see them? Football! Oh, oh brilliant! Oh, cool, man. I just love looking at the sky because the scene changes all the time. Oh, yes, unless it's raining, of course, and everything feels cold, damp and wet. Nasty. What's the one thing we didn't see? The stars. I know. But actually, can I let you in on a big secret? We did see one big star today. It's the sun. The sun is a star. Do you know, it's the nearest star to Earth, so that's why it looks so big. But you must never, ever look at the sun because it can actually hurt your eyes. So I think we can put a tick next to stars because we have seen a star today. That experiment has shown us that there are loads of different things in the sky to see, but only one big star. So I think we need to do another experiment to find out why can't we see all the other stars during the day? Hmm. Shall we go back to the house and see how your dad's getting on on this secret mission? Yeah. Excellent. Let's go! Where your dad is. Oh, can you hear that noise? Yeah. I think he might be upstairs. How are you getting on, Dad? Tired. Oh, I think it's time to shut the curtains. That's going to be brilliant. See you in a bit. Okay, everyone, the secret mission has gone very, very well. But before we go in, I think we need to put some blindfolds on you guys to make this a brilliant surprise. Right, close your eyes first. Oh. You want to just come in? Come in, everyone. Right, if you want to take your blindfolds off, guys, and look up. Oh. Wow! <laughs> what do you see? Stars. So many beautiful stars on the ceiling. Wow! I want to reach up and touch them. You could if Nina's arms were long enough. There's loads of stars, aren't there? <laughs> Just like the night sky, full of stars. Oh. I know, why don't we open the curtains and see what happens? Dad, could you open the curtains for me? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? Oh, what's happened? Stars have disappeared. Yeah, I thought that might happen. So when the sun lights up the room, you can't see the stars anymore. But when the sun goes away and it's dark, that's when the stars start to shine. Oh, I think we've answered your question. You wanted to know where do the stars go during the day? They don't go anywhere. It's just that you can't see them. 
We just can't see the stars during the day because the sun is so bright it makes the rest of the other stars invisible. But they're still up there. But I'd best be getting off now because it's getting dark. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Bye! Bye. Stars look so lovely. I definitely worked the hardest today. I had a big job spotting all the different things that were in the sky. The birds, balloon, kite. There were loads of sounds to keep me busy. Especially when the aeroplane went overhead, it made such a loud noise. Well, I was working hard too, you know. But I'm glad I didn't have to touch Dad's underpants that were hanging on the washing line. Well, we've had a bit of an easy day, haven't we, bud? Yeah! Not much smelling and tasting today, sis. Oh, what a fun day. I hope you've had a sensational time too. Bye. 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 Nina and the new This little bird just loves to fly up into the clouds way up high to find some friends he'd like to know, to find some friends to say... Hello, that's me, Dad. <laughs> ah. Hello, Mabel. to the world of CBBs. All around the garage here, we have the number jacks. Now, all I have to do is press the number machine to see which number it lands on. It's the number six. Number six. Oh, look, it's right here next to me. Let's look behind the number six and see what we've got. Mr. Tumble.